Hi everyone. Today is International Day of Zero Tolerance for Female Genital Mutilation. Today is an important day for me and for so many activists and those who work around the world to end female genital mutilation. It is important we take time to celebrate the milestones and the successes and the wins we have made. It is also important that we reflect on those who we have lost, we reflect on the challenges we face, especially during this global pandemic, as well as double up our efforts to act to NFGM. Today is always a sad day for me because the stats on female genital mutilation are horrible. They are painful and they are heartbreaking. Every 10 seconds, a girl is mutilated in the world. So for the duration of this video, two girls, three girls, four girls, five girls might be mutilated. As we reflect today, my call of action to everyone is how can every one of us as individuals play our part in fighting FGM? It is easy to look at people like me and go, well, Khadija, you're bold and you're confident. This is your fight. Any form of child abuse, any human rights violation should be all of our responsibilities. GM is a global problem. It happens in every continent except Antarctica. The penguins are the real MVP here. And that is quite sad. So we cannot turn a blind eye. Right here in Australia, we have 200,000 survivors of FGM. 11 girls a day are at risk of being subjected to FGM. This is unacceptable to me, and it should be unacceptable to you. So what can you do? I want you to share this post and any other post I make on this topic today and tomorrow and every other day. I want you to talk to your family and friends about FGM. If you're a professional, whether you, you're a teacher, a social worker, child care worker, you're a police officer, it wouldn't matter what your profession is. Look into having FGM training done in your workplace. Know the signs. Know the, what makes girls vulnerable. Know how to support survivors and women as they access services. This is not asking for too much. It's the bare minimum. We all just marched for Black Lives Matter last year. Well, Black lives also matter when it comes to FGM. The reality is that most victims of FGM are people of color or black little girls who are not afforded protection because of the color of their skin, who, for whom enough is not done because of the color of their skin. So if you marched and you posted Black Lives Matter, tweet FGM as part of that movement. Our girls, no matter the color of their skin, their religion, their race, their ability, their sexuality, should be afforded their basic human rights. And FGM is an abuse of that human right. The reason FGM has continued for so long is because of the silence and inaction of so many. Don't be part of that. Don't be people who look away. Those little girls cannot protect themselves. I wish somebody had protected little Khadija. I wish somebody had stopped my mom. I can't go back. This is why I have made the decision and I have made it for the last 20 years to show up every day to make sure we don't create any more little Khadijas because it's unacceptable. So play your part. Share this post. Talk to your family members. Book for training. Watch my TED talk. Don't turn a blind eye. We cannot afford to continue to live in a world where one more little girl is mutilated. Thank you.